Hello, welcome back. Last time I opened this mission, entered the lab. It sure was something. Uh, so apparently we're at the part of the game where single missions are going to take monumental effort to get through. This is feeling very strongly like a candidate for my second uh, wild card. I think that's almost definitely going to go here. Like, just using a wild card on a mission doesn't mean I can't come back and do it. I can still do three pack. Uh, I'll still be able to do laboratory, but this is an extremely, extremely hard progress blocker for a lot of stuff. And one suggestion that I heard was to, to, to find out which character needs to go to which exit here, and that would give me some helpful information. So if I use a wild card here, then I could probably see like which groups of characters go to which places here, and deduce from that which exit each one needs to take. So that's a that's a useful, useful tip. Right now, though, I'm going to go to Agent Virgil on ice. The one other thing I can do that might unlock something. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. <laughs> there you know. Okay, so first glance, this doesn't look too bad. It's small, I only have two characters. There are two that are pretty easy to work with. She can't fit through here to get down to help him. Okay, so my rescue is, my, my mission is to rescue Agent Virgil. He is on some ice. Okay, yeah, he's a hockey puck. The heck is this? Oh, it's a boot. <laughs> I, it, it was hard to tell. Okay, so we got a boot, a book, a doorknob, a doorknob, a doorknob, a doorknob. A, well, I guess that's a binder, really. Binder, binder. I, I assume that's what that is? Looks like a binder from the side. Two blocks of ice. This is a tough one, huh? I don't know yet. I haven't done much with it. I'm just staring at stuff. Okay, let's move around and make things happen. Okay, so I need to build him some form of staircase. If he were to move, I'm guessing I don't want to do that because that's his only way out and he just blocked it. And looking at the shapes of things doesn't seem... Well, yeah, just the shape of the terrain means there's no way I can... You know, there was only one puzzle one was it? It was a uh, seahorse puzzle. There was only one puzzle. Was it P P Pipe of Damocles? No, it was um... There was only one puzzle so far that had d discontinuous objects. Like, objects that were linked through background elements essentially. Was it Seaweed Squishers? I think it's the Seaweed Squishers. No, that's not it. I don't know why I've decided I absolutely... Serpent of Hanoi, that's... No, that's not cool. the one. It yeah, yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. L T1. Yeah, this has... Right, these objects that are... They're linked. This this is one object with, with a background element here. This is the only puzzle that that's shown up in so far. When... I, I was thinking about that because I was Look talking about, I'm like... Geometry that would be possible for her to push something down through there. Like, something with a, with that kind of link is the only thing that would allow that. But that's only shown up once, which is kind of weird. Anyway, uh, feels like I don't want to move you off that ice, because that, yeah, again, that blocks your way up. I need to build you a staircase that you can climb and then climb out of there. And from there, I still need one object somehow to boost you out of here. Now, Guppy can just leave any time, right? Yeah, no problem there. Okay. Look at me. I'm a hockey puck. I'm looking at you. You don't really look like a hockey puck, though. So, wait a second. I can do this, and then that, and then this, and then that's all I get. So, if I'm seeing this right, basically I get the opportunity to get one doorknob out. That's not true. Uh, yes it is. Because if I get two... Unless she could stay in there after that, then she doesn't have an exit. Okay. Look at me. I'm a hockey puck. I get a doorknob already. All right. So anything you climb, I, I feel like I need to shove this in here. That feels sensible. So that goes there. Then just like a doorknob down there, and then he could climb out. No problem, right? <laughs> uh, this can't go down there. That's impossible. This can. I can do this. I lose the, the, the 
doorknob, though. Feels like my options are just so limited as to what I can even push around here. All right, so with like this doorknob, I can do I can do this and that, or I could do this. If I did this, what happens? Okay, so falling objects take precedence over rising ones. It looks like because that this could have just as easily r risen up to meet the the doorknob. Okay. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Can I get this boot? I think so. Mm-hmm. I think so. Hmm. Gonna have to Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. So what can the boot do? Just ignore that for now. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's just pretend. Well, why would I do that? Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Might as well take the useful objects with me. That's still block stuff. That's still... Okay, so maybe... Maybe I want to do this first. What I'm wondering is if I can get under that boot somehow to push it around. That doesn't accomplish anything useful. That's not a good idea. I could, except for that. Alright, so if I leave a doorknob here and just do something like that then I think I can get under that doorknob and then get under the boot and then be able to move it around kind of maybe almost sure okay got a boot what's that good for So objects that can go down here. Doorknob, doorknob, binder. That's not enough. Doesn't seem like enough, at least. <laughs> Building crab stairways has never been something I'm very good at. This is, that's definitely not the right move, right? Also, I've just killed her. No way out of this not situation. Again. Oh, also, do I need to be careful about where this goes? No, I see. I can, oh, no, I don't see. So, I I need to keep something. Uh, do I? Maybe. Okay. Here's something I observe. If Virgil were on top of this ice, and I tucked it up into this spot, which, again... I should have seen that. Should have seen that coming. Um, Look at me. I'm a hockey puck. I'm having trouble getting this bind her off of there without her dying from it. Bad move, Agent Gun. Having trouble because it seems to be impossible. Anyway, what I'm saying is if, if Virgil were on top of this thing, I could push that up and that's how he would get out. This object doesn't seem useful for other parts of the puzzle, so don't... What, what I'm saying is I don't need to worry about keeping a doorknob up here just for boosting Virgil up this hole. That's, that's what this ice is for, seemingly. Now, Look at me. what do I do about this problem? I can't get this out as far as I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just to limit the number of times I go in and out of that. So just with a couple of doorknobs, 
Virgil needs to do some real magic here. Aha, here's something I just realized. If I put this here, switch to him, he can get off it without causing himself any problems. However, now that stairway is too steep. Is that strictly true? Mm, maybe. I could also do this to keep the ice in place. Get another doorknob. Yeah, so what? I don't think I can do that. Like, that move causes me problems. But let's pretend. Huh. Okay, so let's think about ways to maybe gun. move this ice up just a little bit. Is there any possibility of doing that? Because if you do that, that's no good. I, I don't... Um, I tried this before. The doorknob falls, the ice does not rise. I don't think I can move this to the left. And yeah, the it's, it's left side right now forms a, a steep staircase with this. So if this moves to the right at all, then that's, that's too steep for it to be the bottom step. Okay. Like, this really is the entire puzzle. Just, how can I drop debris down on him so he can escape? Hmm. The boot is clearly involved somehow, but I don't see how yet. Like, I feel like it, it combines with, with this object somehow. Like, I'm supposed to use the... Hmm. Hmm. So let's weigh this down. Put Virgil over here to catch that thing and move it around. I've already tried this, though. Didn't accomplish anything. Well, hang on. I can... Hmm. No, I can't. I thought I could, but I can't. Uh, so if I drop this, take one of these, put it on there. How's this look? Useless. Um, if I drop that first, then do this. That starts to look like something. Ooh. Look at this. I made the ice rise. That's neat. Okay. Now what, though? If I could somehow make it rise one more and have the doorknob right here, that would be pretty great. I don't think the boot can help me with that problem. I feel like the boot is really just for solving this ice problem. Okay, so I'm getting close. I have a way to at least elevate him to here and get the ice up there. But I do need that doorknob to be holding down the ice at this... Well, okay, so I can I can change its position a little bit. Because I can totally do the... Yeah, that's not exactly... Well... No, that's not useful. Uh, yeah. So, let's take a closer look at this. So if I ignore the ice, it rises all the way up there. I can't do that, obviously. Mm. 
So how did I do this? The order does Look matter. Me, I'm a hockey puck. The small possibility space of this puzzle is encouraging. It makes me feel like I should be able to do it. I wonder if this space is meaningful in any way. And this one. Probably... I don't see how this could interact with anything. Uh, this one, probably not, unless I have to, like, dispose a doorknob down there or something. I did that in the wrong order. The only other thing she has is an old boot. The boot can't go down here or interact with any of this in any way. All I can do here, seemingly, is... Wait a second. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. So here's a thing I can do. Well, that's the wrong doorknob. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Look at me, puck. I'm a hockey puck. <laughs> Something I forgot about that I did earlier was that. Mm-hmm. Eh, that's not too great. Well, let's see what it changes. Seems like it's not going to be much. Is this still... Oh, never mind. I did it. Oh, okay. Somehow I just didn't think of the one detail of that ice catching on that ledge. Cool. Virgil's out. Now, the boot puzzle. I think the simplest thing to do here... Wait, didn't I decide this was impossible if I did it this way? Hmm. I may have. None, none of that, none of that works. Because there's no way I can move this back to the right. So I have to do something with the boot earlier. Can I just kind of park it on the ice? I think so. Alright, so that sequence of actions was not too terribly complicated. I can do this anytime. I can do this anytime. That's all very cool. So yeah, I think if I just park the boot kind of up on top okay, problems. Several problems. So many problems. Wait, I'm forgetting that I can totally, well, okay, so it has to be done before I move this doorknob. Okay, so I can totally do this. If I don't go any higher than that, I can get that back down. I kind of want to go higher than that, though. Because if it's only at that level, yeah, I have, I have to go this high in order to be able to do what I want to do down here. Which is this. And that still kills her. I should have seen that coming. Huh. I do need to drop this down there for him to be able to get out. Can that be the last thing I do? Well, not exactly. Uh, okay. Look at me. I'm a hockey puck. Hmm. This doorknob's going left. Pretty confident about this series of moves. Doesn't seem like there's any particular way to improve that. Whoops. Uh, no, that's right. So, ha, where's my opportunity to do something with a boot? That's death. That's not always again. death. There's nothing, nothing I can do to make that not death. Uh, yeah, 
yes, you have... Uh, mm. This has to go before that. Is that true? I don't think it... Oh, uh, no, it is. Yeah. Yep, that has to go before that. And then as soon as I drop it, it's just in the way. Well, okay, so here's the thing I can do. Yeah, that's fine. That gets it out of the way of doing this, and I can still move it both directions, get it under the boot and stuff. So that lets me get in here, but being in here is not helpful. I had to be able to push this off. Feels like that ice goes the way. Mm. So the only way I'm seeing the, the boot helping me is just as an object which weighs down this ice so I can do stuff with it. Oh, what if Virgil moves the boot? That doesn't really help because if, if, if I already have Virgil out, then I've already pushed this to the left. See, like, this is the condition I'm trying to avoid. I don't want to push that left because I don't see a way to move it back right again. Virgil's too too wide to, to, to fit in there and move anywhere. Is there an alternative? I don't see one. The boot's too wide to fit in there, so that can't help boost. Getting it hooked on the side of this doesn't actually help anything other than making that freely movable. I can't keep this up here. Yeah, so I, I can't push this ice left. I'm pretty sure about that. But somehow this has to drop without that ice moving left. That's what I don't get. Look at Look me, at me. I'm, I'm a hockey, hockey puck. puck. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What thing am I missing? What can a boot do that I'm not realizing? No, not that. Like this, this is death. Oops. That's the problem with that. It causes dying. And once I push it here, I have to push it all the way out there. And if I've done things in that position... Uh... Wait a second. Why is... Um... Oh, I see. Hmm. So having that not... And not having the toe of the boot stacked on top of that doorknob does mean I can get through here now. I don't see how that's useful. Oh, wait. If that goes down there, she can get under it. Oh. That does mean this needs to be out of the way, which is fine. I can move that out of the way. Okay. Progress. Look at me. I'm a hockey puck. So here's what I do. I push this up by two. I position that there. Then I do this stuff. Let this down. Uh, yeah, just, just like that is fine. Uh, Virgil can do his stuff later. Then I'm able to retrieve the boot. Uh, move this down a little bit. Yeah, I see what this... Whoop, ooh. You're, no, don't move that down yet, because I need it. The whole reason I moved it up there is so I can do this. There we go. Then move it down. Stick a boot on top of it. Do I need to do a shuffle like this somehow? Uh, no, this has to come down before the, the doorknob. It's fine. Like, I can just do this. There we go. Uh, that's not true. Well, it might become true. Because I think then, with the ice in this position, that the problem I was seeing was that the boot blocks the ice from going up here, but with the ice in this position, I can get Virgil to the left of it and push the ice to the right. Get it off the boot, then push it back to the left, boost him up on it. I think I got this. Almost. Next problem, this doorknob's in the way. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. 
maybe I moved the boot at the wrong time. So if that sits there, then it can't do any good. If it sits here, then it can't get through, really. If I move this back down one more... This could be something. Except it's not, because that's not death, again. and so is this. Not again. But this isn't. Just gotta make a tighter sandwich. Okay. This should be safe. Uh, yes. Yes. That looks right. Okay. I think I've done something good. Cool. And Virgil doesn't even need to do the thing I was talking about with the, uh, with moving the ice to the right. I can just have him move the, well, no, I can't have him move the boot directly, so he does need to do that. Okay, fine. I think I basically just want to move this over, like, two-ish. Dispose of the boot. Uh, dispose of the boot. Hmm. Uh, how? Like, well, uh, okay, sure, why not? That's a fine way to do that. There we go. Looks solved to me, right? Okay, cool. I did it. So, can I bring you along for show and tell? What do you mean? <laughs> Where was this in the story? Okay, so submarine dock. What was going on in this mission? Like, how did Virgil end up on ice there? He wasn't even in this puzzle. I don't know. Show and tell. Don't know what he's talking about. Get the key card. That's a final mission. That's what I thought. Okay. Sea vent. This must have starfish ha! in it. Got me Whoa. said there was nothing down this way, but I've already found two starfish. What are these? Okay, I'm not doing this right now. Uh, just confirm. Wanted to see what was in it. Two starfish there. Dead end for two starfish. Dead end for one starfish. A whole lot here. Oh yeah, I got a suggestion to try this again after I've looked at this puzzle. That might be useful practice for moving that many characters around uh, in preparation for Enter the Lab. Like, yeah, this might look... How do I... There we go. Well, Mr. Crab, it looks like you and Virgil have found a treasure. Yeah, this looks significantly less intimidating now that I've seen that other one. Okay, so this might be a useful exercise to do. All right, so basically I have... So there's a thing that I said that I would not use a wild card on any of the final missions. This is definitely where I'm using this. I'm just going to do this right now. That's where that goes. So that would unlock Botany Division, Genetics Division, Zoology Division in the laboratory. Yep. And that's all six pre-final missions. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Nice. Okay. So that's possibly all the missions in the game, other than the final, final one. All right, neat. Um, so next time, maybe I'll look at these and analyze just what I might have to do here to, to get through this. How many puzzles do I have left to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, counting that, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh man, this mission. <laughs> uh, Twelve. 13, 14, 15. 15 missions plus any starfish bonuses that might be uh, relevant. Because there's like... Um, okay, 16, 17. I'll probably do those eventually. Yeah. Uh, what other rewards are coming up? Picture, picture, intro, final mission. That was the thing I was suggested to look at. Oh, I see. So I can watch the cinematic, I guess, or like the, the dialogue and stuff, maybe? I don't know. New picture, additional characters, new picture. 
So another unused mission. That's what's uh, the 18 now, I think. Video from dialogue recording. Lots of pictures. 19. Final video. Picture, mission, picture. Interior. And so many pictures. So many pictures. 20. Okay, so it looks like 20 missions to go in the rest of the game. Alright, well, I'm, I'm getting this done. <laughs> Sometimes it goes at an incredibly slow pace, but I am getting it done. I'm determined to finish this game, no matter how long it takes. Okay, yeah, I'll see you next time to uh, to do something. Like, I've, I've run out of, like, comfortable progress. It's all going to be all uncomfortable from here on out. <laughs> oh boy. I knew this was inevitable. This game has a reputation. Okay, yeah, see you next time to pick one of these, like, 15 missions that are open to me. And see what I can do with them. I don't know which one. Yeah, maybe just earning some starfish for a little while. I should probably just, like, get a... Okay, let me stop speculating. Uh, I'll figure out what I'm doing next time. See you then!